Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is Sonora Design and today is going to be the best day ever because we're talking about what's next in the channel. All right, guys, welcome. I know you guys thought I was gone forever, right? Me too, but guess what? I'm back. And today we're talking about what's next in the channel. What are uh, the next projects? And I'm going to reveal some of the stuff that is in the magic closet. If you guys are not aware, I have a magic closet. I mean, I've been hoarding drivers and amplifiers and like equipment and all kinds of crap. I pull out some of those and I'm going to share with you what are my plans for the next videos. The thing is, I don't get tired of trying to get to the perfect speaker. Good looking, good sounding, hi-fi speakers for to channel listening. I gotta tell you guys that perfect speaker should sound a little bit like uh, the best speakers I've heard, in my opinion, which are the Genelex, the 1037s, which are like two 12-inch woofers, mids, and tweeters. It's like a three-way powered studio monitor. I remember how impressed I was the first time I've listened to those speakers. And that was in a studio back in the day. I don't know if you guys know, but I was in a band and I was composing, arranging, performing, recording, and touring, and uh, making music. And in one of those recordings, I end up in this studio and we are recording the drums. We had like the guides and we we're going to listen to it for the first time. Raw, no mixing no effects, just the preamps we used for the recording. And I was inside of the room when they were like tuning the drums and adding the microphones and setting it all up. And I could hear what we were capturing in this studio room. Then I got to listen inside on a control room and I got to hear the same thing through the monitors. And it sounded impressive. Closing my eyes, I thought I was still inside the recording room. That was my best experience. Even though I've been going to shows and like listening to a bunch of speakers, those were the ones that uh, shook me the most. Yeah, I know they cost like tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, it's the same as like good high-end speakers. Okay, so if you ask like, oh, what you want? I want it to be realistic. I wanted to hear the music. And usually the less effects, uh, better. Raw recording, no, not much like delays, and verbs, and passion. Uh, Auto-tune, I don't know if you guys are aware of auto-tune, but you can tune your voice, and that's impressive. And it makes it a little artificial, but you can tune the voice. Still, there are very good recordings, but I like listening to those old records where recordings were kind of, um, still like two channels or four channels, like on a tape and, and analog recordings, and then... So I guess that's all we want and we are looking for. Get that feeling and that experience that I had in the studio. So that's my uh, favorite speaker so far. I mean, all of them have like good things and things that are not that good. But I mean, this one was the closest to what I want to hear. That's what we want to achieve, okay? You guys might know I'm not an engineer, I'm a product designer. So I have this commitment with aesthetics and uh, usually my designs start with a visual idea. It's either I'm uh, inspired by my favorite designers, product designer, 
industrial designers. It could be like furniture, it could be a chair, it could be like a credenza, it could be like any object that inspires me to make a beautiful speaker. And uh, that's my process. It starts with a beautiful idea and then I try to bring like the right drivers and, and match it all and kind of like make it work. So I wouldn't say that I'm looking for a form over function because you know guys that at the end of the day it's a speaker and it should sound good because I mean I had there's a lot of ugly speakers in the market and there are the good looking speakers in the market as well but a problem that I usually want to solve is they got to be good looking integrate in your decoration in your living room be part of your room aesthetics or your style, okay? But today we have like a myriad of uh, uh, drivers and options and, and materials and technology to make this thing work the best. It, it doesn't mean it's gonna work right away. That's why we start planning ahead. So I have like a bunch of drivers and ideas and I'm gonna start sharing with you guys what we're gonna do next. I guess that's all I have to say about that. And we're gonna move on because it's already looking good. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna start talking about a Bluetooth speaker first. I have a lot of like small drivers that would work like great in a Bluetooth speaker. It's PC 105, which is like a Dayton audio with four inch full range. Never use those, but they might work well as mid ranges or full range drivers. I'm not sure about the base. We gotta check that. I have the ND91s. Let me open that because I never opened it. It's been sitting for years. ND91s. You guys might know this once, Neodymium. Those little guys plays a lot of bass. Pretty good driver. Those Aima, those are like three inch mid woofers with like Kepler. And I tested those, they sound pretty cool. Maybe we can use those in a little Bluetooth speakers as well. So we have the RS 100s. We used those before in the channel. That's the truncated cone. So those can be used in a Bluetooth speaker or as mid ranges. They're called full ranges, but they need a little help in the highs. And these 105, which I really like those, because those are like the bigger version of the ND91s, okay? So those are like four inches and uh, neodymium magnet. They play really good bass for the size as well. I used to make a lot of speakers with those and they're pretty nice drivers. So we have all of those mini drivers and we have another Aurelic. That's a 2.0 up to stream Aurelic. This is a two channel mini amplifier with a digital input. It can be used in a multi-room configuration. You, uh, we use that in the sound bar I made in the channel. The main thing which I like the most is the versatility connectivity you download an app and you can control like multi speakers at the same time and you can uh, plug it into your PC and they have something that's called a workbench there's a DSP inside you can equalize and, and adjust like some settings okay so we're gonna work on that on our mini Bluetooth speaker so this is one of the projects and for that we still have this drivers the CHP 70 this is the mark audio driver it's a full range it's a paper cone full range guess what I don't know why did I buy that because maybe I was just curious I don't know how did it end up here but the thing is it's a really nice paper cone driver and I was curious about like uh, the curve response okay because most of those drivers they have a little like breakup in the highs you know it's a full range so at some point they're gonna behave strange and uh, you might use it as a mid-range you might use it as a full range you might use it as like whatever you want those are like really nice well-made drivers and they sound good we're gonna test it I, I never tried the paper one I tried the aluminum but I guess those sound a little different the highs are a little lower uh, so CHP 70 welcome okay we have small tweeters we have the three-quarter inch ND 20 FB from date on audio and we have like the smaller version which is the ND 16 FA 
neodymium dome tweeter okay so we have those we can use those i still have like those little planner tweeters that i bought too i went testing them and i don't know i end up with so many here and i never used so we might try and get those to work too those are like little planner tweeters we can use that too in our small enclosure design so we have a lot of options here that's uh our mini bluetooth design idea i might might do one of my old designs or a brand new one okay so let's move on to the next idea all right guys so i've been always curious about the lee audio i don't know if you guys are aware of the lee audio but there are a lot of reviews on the lee audio and then i got one pair this is the fast eight it's like a magnesium or aluminum basket it, it it looks pretty good and well made it's like this paper might have captain or something but it's like a paper cone this like uh sticky suspension here it's more like kevlar or like fiber or... this is uh still affordable okay because most of their drivers sell for around like five to six hundred bucks so this is still around 200 bucks a pair so how about this one because i was curious how does it sound? Is it like as good as everyone's saying? So we're gonna make something with that. It might be like a transmission line. It might be a bass reflex. It might be of one of their designs. They have a lot of designs online on their website, boxes that are ready and tested and apparently they sound good. We might pick one of those and just make it, okay? Oh! <coughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, guys, so we are here on Lee Audio website. And I'm gonna record the screen because I didn't start recording the screen. And we're on. Okay, and this is um, Lee Song's website. I'm gonna show you guys. They have like a lot of options. I think like those, those Chinese companies, I mean, sometimes they make some good stuff that are affordable and, and sound good, you know? I mean, maybe most of the time, I don't know, there are a lot of clones. A lot of counterfeit ones and i'm gonna go through aliexpress in another video because there's a lot of, of things happening there and, and sometimes the prices are not fair sometimes the speakers are not fair the drivers are not fair but uh sometimes we can get like good stuff there and lee audio is available on aliexpress and on their website so we are here on lee song and they have speaker units, complete speakers, uh, and about the company here. You got here all the, the the speakers with prices, and I don't know that there are no sh there's no shipping here, but you can you can see like a 10 inch full range driver at like uh, the silver 10 at at, at like 1,200 dollars a pair. They gotta sound pretty good at this price, okay? I'm already pissed off because they're so expensive. But maybe we can try it in the future. I don't know. If you guys keep watching my videos, I'll keep posting. And then I'll keep buying those pieces and testing and showing you guys what to do with it. But you have more affordable drivers here. Silver 8, 430. One pair of 10 inch, the Fast 10, 615. And we bought the Fast 8, which is kind of affordable, 200 bucks for a pair. So we have all those drivers available at Lee Audio. And we're gonna go back to our driver. And we're gonna check the specifications. Okay, so we have the Fast 8 here on the Lee Audio website. We have the frequency response with impedance here. It's pretty okay. We have some suggested designs. We have all the measurements here for this folded horn here and, and, and we can work on that or we can make our own design, okay? This looks cool. I have, they don't give the, 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 the results. What are we gonna get with that, okay? Like the frequency response or, or, or whatever is happening here we don't know i have no idea and they have it here on uh aliexpress which are the same specifications for it the driver looks the same as i got with a wood face plug paper cone they have all those certifications here which make them a little more like a solid business it's uh, a little confusing because Pictures differ, specifications are the same. I mean, we're not sure what's going on. So that's why I bought this and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna show you guys. 
So that's the Lee Audio Fast 8. As you guys know, I love full ranges, so we're gonna try this full range driver. It might not work as expected, but what are we expecting anyways? So that's one of the designs. And talking about transmission lines, I gotta tell you something. I was talking to my friend, Neil, and he's the one that developed the MLT, um, massive mass load transmission line. Uh, the SB Acoustics transmission line with those drivers here. And guess what? I'm gonna make his design in this channel. That might be our next project because Neil has the whole manual ready. And this is a very affordable and developed uh, speaker, okay? So apparently it sounds really good. There are like very good reviews on it. And Neil is a very detailistic guy and knowledgeable guy. And his speaker apparently sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to see me building Neil's design. And I want to have the opportunity to hear his speakers at the same time, okay? I'm curious and I'm excited about that, okay? So we've been talking and I got the manual with the whole specifications and all the, the, the crossovers. He gives like... Uh, crossover options, component options, okay, and, and, and there's like all the, the cuts for the wood and all the details. This is a mass loaded transmission line that we're going to work on. And I have the drivers here. Let me see. Oh, this one is open. So I bought the drivers. He uses like SB Acoustics, which impressed me a lot, okay. The first time I used SB Acoustics was at this uh, on a CHR towers that we work here in this channel and I was really impressed and I really loved it and I started like uh, just checking SB acoustics more often so that's why I ended up like uh, in this adventure with a uh, SB acoustics and we have one here and I'm gonna show you guys that this is like such a nice driver and still affordable we're gonna use this driver this is the those are engineered in Denmark and manufactured in Indonesia. This driver is the six inch uh, SB16 PFCR254 ohm, okay? Paper cone, plastic uh, basket, and they are really nice. They are well made drivers and they sound pretty good. I don't know if I can remove the plugs so you guys can check the driver by itself. Guess what? We have the SB Acoustics tweeters for that, okay? So I got the SB Acoustics tweeter, which is part of the kit. It gives an option for another tweeter, which is kind of a, a I think it's a Radio Shack, like my option was to use the SB Acoustics, okay? It has like crossover options for both tweeters, series crossovers, parallel crossovers, okay? And all the components and all the details. I mean, you can buy his design online and I'm gonna show you his website where you can get the design. Uh, so I got the SB26 STCNC0004. It's a long name. Same thing, engineered in Denmark, made in Indonesia. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show a few things that I wanna share with you guys. So we're talking about the transmission line. And we're here on New Blanchard Designs, which is News website. And I'm gonna share with you the one we are gonna be working on. If you wanna make the same design, you're gonna buy his design and make it at home. I'm gonna show you here. That's what we're gonna be working on, the MLTL6 mass loaded transmission line, speaker build manual, which is for sale for a hundred bucks here on his website. And you have options here. All the information you need are here, okay? And once you buy the manual, you have like all the details you need to build that at home. And it's not hard to make it because it's all really well explained. I'm not going to share the manual because you guys are going to buy the manual. So that's Neil's website. Those are the drivers we I was showing you. And that's the, the speaker enclosure. This is probably SketchUp with all the details. How does it look inside? The port, crossovers with all the components, okay? And we have the frequency response here. Impedance response and frequency response, which looks pretty good to me. That's the horn rasp uh, screen where he shows the details of the mass load transmission line. Okay, so this is all accessible at his website. 
he has not only this design, but he has uh, some upgrades for other speakers, the ELAC, modifications for the Emotiva, modifications for the Sony SSCS5, which are like really popular. That's Neil's website, and that's going to be one of our designs, maybe the first one I'm going to jump in because it's all ready. Let's move on. I'm back, and this is a different angle because I want to show you guys something that I bought just because. And this is the SB Acoustics. You guys know that I like SB Acoustics now, and I found this driver. This is a full range from SB Acoustics. This is the SB20 FRPC 38 ohms, okay? Plastic frame. This is like a foam uh, suspension paper. Okay, this is like a plastic uh, face plug here. The thing is, I never heard this one, but it's SB Acoustics and it costs like 50 bucks, around 50 bucks, okay? And I wanted to give it a try. You guys know I like full ranges and I like testing them. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try and let you guys know what happens with this one, okay? For the price and for the quality, that's another design that I'm excited. It could be a transmission line, void pipe, bass reflex or whatever, SB acoustics let's see and i gotta tell you guys something uh another design that i really thought and i'm really excited about it's a box that would look like the chr towers that we worked here like skinny tall towers uh with three way okay instead of like a full range and two woofers we're gonna have like a big woofer on the side mid-range and tweeter and for that i bought those uh drivers here which i'm really excited about i did some research and at the end i didn't buy the woofer yet but i came up with the chr mid-ranges and I found these Sia's tweeters. So for this design, I want to use like a mid tweeter and a side firing woofer. So first I decided to use the Mark Audio, the CHR90, okay? I used it before and I really liked it. The thing is we're gonna use it as a mid range, not a full range, even though this is a full range, okay? So we have some rings and cracks and shrinks and flings and uh, breakups uh, in a higher frequencies at around like 12K or something. I'm not sure, I gotta check the graph. But the thing is that we wanna get rid of that. I decided to go with a tweeter, like a high frequency tweeter, super tweeter, whatever you guys wanna call. And I found this uh, Sia's uh, tweeter, which is the 19 TFF1, which is like a three quarter inch uh, soft dome tweeter, okay? And I'm really excited with that because it. I was checking uh, them on uh, on Exim and uh, they cross well and they work well together. I tried the CS tweeter with a CS mid range woofer, four inch woofer. It didn't work as I was expecting. You know, the crossing point was like it, it has a breakup at a lower frequency, and and this driver, the CHR, has a breakup on a higher frequency. So it, I think they might work well together. I don't know, man. I, I, I do my best to make them work. If it doesn't work, well, we'll figure it out later, okay? But for now, this is a next design. It's a CHR tower, but it's a three-way. And I was really interested on a side-firing woofer. I was checking the wave course, I was checking the Daytons, I was checking the that Dayton, the flat woofer, 10 inch LS44 or something. It's uh, the one they use on the uh, Panic, Panic speaker, the W11, it's a side firing woofer. The good thing is that it's flat, it's not that deep inside of the box. As soon as we have like a skinny box, we're limited by this, the, the, the inside uh, measurement, okay, which is around 12, 13 um, centimeters and we cannot go deeper than that and the woofer needs like sometimes they have the vent on the back and they need like a, a, a certain distance from the wall behind and this one works properly crossover wise I worked it a little bit on x -Sim as well and it apparently works well we don't know we need to make the boxes get the measurements go back to the crossovers and try and make it all work together it might work it might not but that's why I'm here, right? To try and make it work and show you guys what works and what doesn't, okay? So this is another design that I'm really excited. The Skinny Tower three-way, it's kind of my version of the Benic, maybe. It's, it's not a 
clone because I mean their drivers are not available. Some are. I mean, the woofers are available. Those speakers are uh, amazing. I I've heard them before and I really like the sound and I really like the design. I think they're beautiful. So I mean I would love to clone them. Okay, and make my own. But I mean we're not here to copy the design. We might get inspired by something, but our favorite designers and and like objects and beautiful things and use that on our designs. But I mean, I don't know if you guys seen their box inside, but they're like carved hardwood on a CNC. So that's why they cost like $15,000 a pair. And they sound pretty good. I love the sound of it. Uh, that's my interpretation of the banning, maybe or not. It's just like a skinny tall speaker and everyone makes skinny tall speakers. So we're not trying and copying. We're trying to get like good results our way with affordable pricing. Okay. Something that's not going to cost like 10 grand, but it might cost like three, four, 500 bucks and we can get like very good results. Okay. That's the three way we're going to work on. I'm really excited. That's going to look good and sound good hopefully I'll put it back because battery is gonna die I have to finish that I have some other stuff to do guys and let's move on to the boxes I bought okay let's <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys right now all right guys so guess what yeah I bought a pair of zoo audio the omens okay so the thing is you might be thinking like why did you buy that uh because i want it and i was curious about it it popped up on ebay for a very affordable price because i mean the box is all like scratched and, and there's like dings and nicks and, and but the drivers are great and it sounds great and it works perfectly okay so i just added like the feet and I was just listening to them. What's about those speakers that everyone talks about it and like it? And I gotta tell you something, guys. Uh, it's a different vibe. They sound different, okay? Those are like professional drivers. Those are like, this is like compression driver from uh, Eminence. And this is like a, 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 a woofer from Eminence Audio, okay? This is like their own model. They developed that with Eminence, apparently. They have like this face plug, this aluminum face plug. And, but the thing is, they combine this one with the 1001 Eminence compression driver for the highs, okay? So this is a full range. This is a compression driver with a little horn, this aluminum horn, which is like pretty nice. Really like nice machined and flush. I wish this thing was better finished here, like flush as well, like built in. And the thing is, what caught my attention at first, it's, uh, I mean, the meats, the meats are like flat and detailed and focused. There's like the sound stage is great. I was impressed by like how everything was like um, focused and the meats sounded like natural. And it goes low in bass, bass is good, highs are good, kind of like I, I might miss like the little crisp and sparkle you know the highs are a little on the like lower side i'm not a reviewer but i really like it and i like the vibe they sound like professional drivers it's more like uh i'm not gonna say like a live pa but i mean it is kind of i don't know it reminded me a lot like um watching a concert or being on stage performing and listening you, you hear professional drivers they sound different and that's it that's the vibe so two speakers might sound different and be good at the same time and th those are good speakers and i'm happy okay so the thing is uh we can work on those cabinets i mean i'm not gonna make new cabinets because they have like apparently like they have like those ports on the bottom triangle like a pyramid shape inside and uh, there's a whole science behind those speakers and i'm not gonna ruin it i'm not gonna like try and make my own okay so we might like just refinish the cabinets make this flush add like a nice uh front hardwood faceplate or baffle or well, so that's the idea and I really wanted to hear and I'm happy with it. It's a really nice speaker. So let's go. All right, guys. And guess what? We're getting to the end. And ah, my glasses. Okay. Wow. I feel so handsome. Okay. Guys, I bought a pair of calf. The Q. What is that? Q150. And I mean, I was checking like on Alibaba the other day and I found those drivers, those drivers, 
for sale. It's like a replacement driver. I have no idea what's going on, but I got an idea to buy those and check it out. Cause I mean, those are pretty much the most beautiful drivers that are in the market. I like it. I really like the design and I really like that they're coaxials and, and now I really like that they sound good. So I don't know if I had the chance to hear those, but for less than 300 bucks, I think I paid around 280, 270. I'm not sure because those are like an open box one. So it's cheaper. Another eBay deal. I was looking around guys. So I bought those because I wanted to hear and because I think those drivers are beautiful and because I think I can uh, change those things, use those drivers in another application, add woofers, make it different or like make different boxes, paint it different, use it in another enclosure or design or whatever. But I got to tell you something, I'm not going to review them because I'm not a reviewer, but I got to tell you that they sound good. Okay. The highs are like sparkle, crisp and a little hot, but it sounds good to me. It means they're okay pretty good and uh and there is base those are like five inch woofers it's not like a 12 inch woofer it's not a 10 inch woofer. it's not like two five inch woofers like the chr towers it doesn't doesn't sound the same that big but it sounds good and there's bass present i cranked up a little bit on my equalizer so i get like the low end to come up and i'm really impressed for a 300 bucks pair of speakers how well they sound and how beautiful they look. I think the one, one of the most beautiful designs uh, out there is the LS50, the Caps LS50. I think that's like a very beautiful speaker and I would buy a pair and have it, but I like to make my own stuff. So, I mean, instead of spending another like thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, whatever the price is for a pair, I'd rather buy a bunch of material and, and, and make my own interpretation of whatever speaker I'm looking for, to have whatever design I'm looking for. Again, I'm not going to copy it. And I don't even need to copy because in, uh, if you go to AliExpress, they are already copying it and you can buy like calf cabinets, wooden cabinets there. That could be one of our next projects. Like just pimp the calves. Guys, I guess that's it. Let's go back to the other uh, setup. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. So we got to the end and I hope this video give you guys some insight, okay? And some ideas you guys can share uh, your opinions here down on the chat. Okay. I mean, whatever you guys want to see in the channel. Okay. There's a lot to make and to build. And I mean, this is just the beginning. Okay. So let's move on and make like great designs. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys soon.